now to an award-winning photographer who will do virtually anything to get the best shot. Cos Evans will climb, go underwater, even hang off boats to capture life in the deep seas. This photo taken in the Maldives shows the quality of her work and this one shows the heights she will scale for the perfect picture and they're just two snaps that will be on show at the XL in London this month. Well, Cos Evans joins me now. Hello, Cos, lovely to meet you. Now, we saw two examples of some of your pictures there and extraordinary examples of all the extraordinary measures that you will go to to get the perfect picture. How and when did you come up with the idea or your method? Well, basically, I, I started taking masthead pictures. It came about as a joke um, with the America's Cup. The crew were fed up of me photographing them from every angle and they said, why don't you go up the mast? So I said, OK, great, I'll shoot from the masthead. And that sort of really made my trademark. And then I was lucky enough to work for Simon Le Bon and um, photograph his Whitbread Round the World ray cam ray race campaign and uh, got him up the mast. Uh, he, I wasn't sure if he'd come up the mast, but amazingly he did. And um, he was so brave because it was very rough. Yeah, I mean, he was, you managed to convince him to come up the mast, but you were above him already up there. I mean, that's quite risky for you, isn't it? It is, yes. You're hoisted up in a bosun's chair, sometimes 200 feet up the mast, and you have to be hoisted up quite quickly. And of course, there's various things you've got to get over. There's lots of wires and struts, you can bang your head and so on. And I have had situations, uh, nasty situations, in fact, once a mast capsized while I was up there, the yacht capsized and I went in the water and it was the most frightening experience. I lost all my cameras, but fortunately the crew thought to cut the halyard and I was able to swim free and at least not drown. So that was a good thing. You certainly got your sea legs, that's yes, for sure. Yes. Let's talk about another, another famous name that we're going to recognise, another one of your pictures. Now, I believe we can see James Cracknell yes. in a powerboat. Yes. He's with someone else, but where on earth are you then to well, take this photo? <laughs> well, you know, I'm always trying to take things from a different angle and to try and get that celebrity to show him in the boat, you have to be on it. Um, so the only place I could be was on the bow and unfortunately there was absolutely nowhere for me to stand so I had to wedge myself between the cockpits and there was nothing to keep myself on with and, and so on. So basically I got them to accelerate slowly and then eventually got up to 80 miles an hour, which I didn't realise, but I just hung on for grim death um, to get that particular shot and make sure that the weight looked, showed the speed of the boat. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Were you, do you wear protective clothing for this? Yes. Um, safety measures you must do. <laughs> yes. Um, I have my foul weather gear and I, and I have harnesses and things like yeah. that. And you, you obviously make sure you have a crew around you to make sure that you're you're safe but you know at times you're left up masks as I have been and I've had to sort of wiggle about to make sure I've still got con um, circulation in my legs and things like that. <laughs> I mean, we can see they're hanging off a sail oh, or a yes. mast then. I mean do you ever, do you ever get to the point when you think no this is simply too dangerous I have to rein myself in a bit now? Yes I have now I've got a child I have to calm down a bit but there is always that urge to get an unusual picture and sometimes it means you have to take a risk to get the shot. Mm -hmm. A remote camera won't do it all the time you can't get those images from a remote camera using long lenses and so on and so you do have to take risks but they're calculated risks um, what, what's left for you to do now what, what's the next one that you're going to do the next one I'm going to do <laughs> um, is probably some more diving under keels which is uh, something I really want to do a lot more of because you can shoot through the surface of the water and have the spinnakers floating on the surface of the water and hopefully you will see all of these pictures in my book, which has just been launched. And at the Excel Centre as well this month. Cos, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Lovely thank to meet you. you. Well, there are more of Cos's pictures on our website. Go to itv.com London to see more death-defying shots.